Nozier parallel combination of capacitors. There are three capacitors having capacitance C1, C2 and C3. All three are connected in parallel and this one positive terminals of all these capacitors are connected to the one common potential, one potential or one terminal of the battery. All negatives are connected to the one another terminal of the battery. So, this is at higher potential, this is at lower potential. So, here in this case the charges will be different in all the three capacitors, but potential difference will remain same across the each capacitors. So, we can write here Q1 is equal to C1V, Q2 is equal to C2V and Q3 is equal to C3V. So, we can write total charge Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 that can be written here the total charge Q. So, we can replace it with the equivalent capacitance and we can write here C V is equal to C 1 V plus C 2 V plus C 3 V. And now, this year V V V common and this will get cancelled, you will be getting C is equal to C 1 plus C 2 plus C 3. So, equivalent capacitance is greater than here than the any individual capacitance here. Now, in this case, one important thing is here very, very important here the V remains same for all the capacitors here. Now, see your energy is stored in capacitor. So, how is energy stored in capacitor while charging? See here, suppose you have taken parallel plate capacitor, these are the two plates, uncharged plates. So, initially the potential difference between these two plates uh, is 0. Now, if you connect this plate, these plates with the source of here some battery of the potential difference V, this is plus and this minus. What happened here? So, now this has got higher potential. So, what happened from this plates electrons are attracted to this side, electron moves to this side to, to constitute electric current. By that way suppose one electron is coming to this side, one positive is here remains left. By this way more and more electrons are coming here and this become positive and whatever the number of electron coming here, the same number of electrons are transferred from here there are uh, there is a uh, negative charges here. By this way this will become positive potential and this will become at negative potential and now there is the potential difference between these two plates. Now, when the potential of this and this plate becomes equal, there is no transferring of the charges and no charging of the capacitor. We say capacitor has fully charged. So, the charges keeps on storing, developing here or storing here as long as the potential difference is maintained. Now, see here at any instant, let the potential difference between the two plates, suppose you have taken the two plates here the plus plus and minus minus. At any stand the charge on the positive plate is Q and here the charge is minus Q. Potential difference between these two plates is suppose here V at any stand. And now suppose DQ additional charge is given to the plate here the positive plate then the some work will be done and this work is stored in the form of energy. So, when this DQ charge is given to this plate then we can write here the work done is equal to V into DQ and we can write dw is equal to q by c into dq and now here now if you want to store the more charges suppose you want to store the charges from 0 to this here capital q then we have to integrate it so we can get dw is equal to q by c dq and here 0 to q so we can integrate this we can get w is equal to 1 upon c q square by 2 0 to q and we can write w is equal to q square upon 2 c. And here this work done is known as actually here the potential energy or energy stored in the capacitor that is here q square upon 2 c. So, by this way we can calculate energy stored in capacitor. 